I grew up in a broken home. My mom and dad were divorced early, and so was my kids' mothers. And we made a promise to each other that, you know, our kids will not grow up like, like we did. And that promise was broken, unfortunately, and not by me, but because the system took that from me. He spent 20 years in prison for a crime he did not commit. First at four, the action he's taking now to get some peace of mind. Michael Buner says the ultimate goal is to keep the county's justice system accountable. Stephen Hernandez walking us through his newly filed lawsuit. I believe in justice. Um, however, I don't have faith in the system. Nearly a year after getting out of prison, Michael Buner is filing a federal civil rights lawsuit against the city and county, claiming they are responsible for his wrongful imprisonment for two decades. It just felt like after so many no's and denials in the court that I'm just, I'm gonna die here for something I didn't do. Buner was convicted in the death of Jerry Saunders in 2002. He maintained his innocence for decades. Last August, a judge said between questionable eyewitness testimony and the destruction of a key piece of evidence, Buner should go free. The lawsuit filed by the FG&G law firm is calling on the city of Cleveland and Cuyahoga County, as well as three Cleveland police officers and two Cuyahoga County prosecutors as defendants. The suit accuses them of violating Buner's 4th and 14th Amendments and doing nothing to stop it. Buner, who's now 47, says he and his family are still feeling the consequences of spending nearly 20 years in prison. I know they understand that this isn't my fault, and you know, so does my family. Um, but I sense tension there because, regardless, I still miss their life. I tried reaching out to all four parties named as defendants, asking them about these claims. Only the prosecutor's office responded, saying they will review the lawsuit. Buner is also filing this lawsuit with the belief that many others here in the county are in a similar position that he is in. There are more like me in there, and I hope that this exposes that. Hopefully this lawsuit will bring them to different realizations. In downtown Cleveland, Stephen Hernandez, 19 News.